Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to touch on the fn filter function. So, uh, excuse me, fn match filter function. So I'm going to put in fn match, fn match right here. And there's really only one distinction and you'll be able to see what it does because um, we'll also put the last video of really a, of an awesome comment of the deep dive right here and between th that those two videos and this video I really think it'll bring it all together so alright if you go back and watch that one this is the main determination so let's comment this out so this is how simple fn match dot filter is sorry fn match dot filter but if you haven't joined us yet and you are new here go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell because we have videos like this coming out all the time and we build on them because we do one topic at a time so it's never overwhelming and the most important thing if you learn like me, you have to do something over and over and over again. And I wanted, <clears throat> I wanted to help people who just have to practice. And that was the whole reason for this channel. So everything is searchable. So you can go back and look at it over and over and over again. So all right. So the distinction between FN match is it just returns true if the file is there where filter it it will take a directory and then match it will go through all the files for you and return the matches so we're going to then use the current and then just give it its match that we used last time of everything with a ending in txt and then it will return a list for us. So actually, let's comment this out and just look at it. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry, guys. So all right, help. Dot fn match. Dot filter. So okay, return a subset list names that match the pattern. So all right, names pattern. So basically, here's because we know what this does. We'll actually throw this up here just in case. Just in case. I won't take it personally. Just in case you're new and you don't know anything about uh, uh, OS.Lister. Again, won't take it personally. So, all right. It will go through that list for you. So, all right. Let's uncomment this out. And let's run this. And then boom. There we go. And that's the basis of, of glob. So cool. I think we've tied this all together. Real quick video today. But guys, you are just, I don't know. I couldn't be, uh, I, I love this stuff. I hope it comes through. But just how I can tie this all in for my experiences of explaining it. And hopefully, the whole purpose of this is to help you guys. Because I remember when I was learning, it was, uh it was unpleasant and clumsy and just a struggle because there were bits here and bits there. I want this to be one place where you can come and find absolutely everything you need. So, all right, I'll get off my soapbox. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you're clicking that subscribe and the notification bell. And if this is the type of video you like, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And um, as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.